Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Johnny Vlogs for today, Monday, July 10th, 2017. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, before we get started, as usual, we have to thank our new Patreon supporters and people kind enough to have upped their pledge. Uh, the list is a little bit longer this week because of that Disney video I released last week where obviously I couldn't thank them. So let's jump in and get this done. Joni Danger, Jeffrey J. Shelton, Laura Holmes, Justin Wallweber, all of them are uh, new pledges. Thank you so much for becoming patrons. Tabitha Bachelder, Bachelder, I think, uh, and Bridget Cooper both raised their pledges. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's Sheila or maybe Sheila Sprayberry. Kim Skubik and Ray Harvey also pledged and are now helping to support Lord and Arts. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Randy Catherine's edited her pledge, upping it, and told me about it on Twitter, and I was sure to send her a special little picture thanking her. Thank you so much, Randy. Libby, Ronan Wills, and JD also now pledging on Patreon. Um, it just means the world to me to have your support with that. Thank each and every one of you so very much. Um, all right, so I wanted to share some information with you today. I had a little bit of some interesting contact, and that's something I need to thank all of you for because it's due to um, the size of the channel, due to how many views I'm bringing to some of these cases now. Uh, I am getting some attention from some people that are sometimes part of the story. Uh, and in particular, this is going to be an interesting one, guys. Um, Philip Klein, who there's been uh, two videos, I think. Uh, yeah, the, I believe the D.R. Coons case and the Thomas Brown case. Um, I have spoken about Philip. Uh, I haven't been extremely supportive of him. I was wondering if he is someone that is using these cases to seek attention. Um, he does seem to drive towards the high profile cases. Um, but I did get an email directly from the man himself to me. So I have to admit, I was a little bit excited to receive an email directly from Philip. Um, of course, the subject matter, you know, he was worried about uh, some comments that I had made. In particular, he thought that I might have been directing some comments towards his team and their abilities. Uh, he was asking me to please really just keep it to him if I'm going to make any comments like that. Uh, I went through and I rewatched the videos. I'm still not quite exactly sure where he thought I was um, talking about the, the abilities of his team. But uh, regardless, the conversation moved forward from there. And kind of became productive. And I was kind of proud of that because in a way it really confirmed a thought that I had that both him and I were working towards the same goal. And even if uh, we were being somewhat critical of each other's approach, um, that if we pushed that aside, maybe there's something we could do to try to help each other in achieving that goal. And I think I think he would acknowledge that he was lumping me in with a lot of social media um, stuff that he has to deal with regularly. It seems like Facebook is a real big pain for him or Facebook administrators of some of these pages to help find these people. Um, and I think he might have been just lumping me in with, oh, it's just another one of these, you know, armchair blogger Facebookers. Um, but I hope by the end of this conversation thread that we had, which went back and forth actually a few times, uh, that he realizes there's a little bit more going on in this channel in particular. Um, we're really looking to understand these cases better. I personally feel like the better the information is that we can get out there, the better of a chance there is to shake something loose and get those tips called in to the people that can act on it. Um, and outside of all that, there was an interesting point in the conversation we hit um, where I was telling him, and I want to be sure to make this clear with all of you too, you know, people frequently ask, hey, John, why aren't you a private investigator? That's really not what I'm doing here. What I'm doing here is a public analysis of investigations, and it's based primarily on information that is publicly available, which... Uh, can be really tricky to lean on sometimes and is part of the reason why I try to use so many different sources when I'm covering stories. So um, 
I just, I really wanted to draw that out for him. And I want to make sure you guys know it too. I have no misconceptions about my part in this. I believe that I'm trying to add value to these cases by helping to raise exposure. Um, I'm not saying that I am going to be the one, um, you know, tramping through the mud in the middle of the night or going through people's trash, trying to piece this thing together. Uh, I don't see that as, as my role in what's going on here. And I acknowledge and appreciate that there are people out there that do. And Philip's team is a team of those people that do. Now, I know in a lot of my criticisms of him, um, I'm asking, I mean, I might be, there might be a subtext to what I'm saying of, are they really being effective or not? And quite honestly, I've only bumped into him in those two cases that I mentioned before. Uh, and obviously, those cases are both unsolved. So I think it's a fair question to ask. Uh, outside of that, I might have been somewhat critical of, is this some type of grab for attention, um, maybe to do some kind of good for your business or to potentially sell books, which I know is a comment that I had made before. Um, I don't think those questions are unfair. I still don't think they're unfair. But what I really appreciated about the conversation chain with Philip was that even though we didn't really see eye to eye or get to any conclusion on those questions, when it came down to talking about cases, um, I sent him some very direct questions. He answered very, very quickly and with extreme detail. If nothing else, I can confirm to you guys that he definitely knows about the cases that he's working on. He does have information that is not publicly available. And I'm hoping, and I did talk to him about this a little bit, um, I'm hoping in some way to figure out how to potentially bring him onto the channel to maybe give us uh, a little bit more inside information, maybe on those two cases, but I did ask him in particular for any other cases in the future that I bump into where I can see he's attached. Could I reach out to him? Could I ask him questions? He seemed very open to that. And I did mention the possibility of, hey, maybe we should bring you onto the channel and you know try to talk about some of this stuff. So, And he seems open to that as well. So I do believe at some point, Philip Klein uh, will be on the channel, but I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I'm not backtracking on any of the criticism. Like I said, I think they're fair questions, but what I noticed in the conversation, which I think is much more important, is that really him and I are on the same team. We're trying to get these cases solved. And perhaps some of the questions that I asked him um, maybe they'll add some critical analysis. Maybe they'll give him a little bit of something to think about that was something he hadn't considered before. Or maybe some of the information that he shares with me will give me more insight into the process of a private investigator, the challenges that they face. Um, I don't have experience in that area. I have no formal experience in private investigation. I, I consider myself a critical thinker. I'm a very logical thinker. I used to be in the IT field. There was not a problem I could not solve when it came down to business and technology and making those things work together. Uh, I'm a problem solver. And that's part of that's the part of my character that attracts me to this line of work. I want to look into these issues. But just like back when I was working in the IT field, the first step for that is to truly get your hands around the scope for you to understand what the problem is and all the factors that are a consideration in that problem. And that's really what I feel like we do with the channel here. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, some very interesting contact. Like I said, I'm very proud for how the conversation went. And I was very impressed with the information that he was willing to share. Um, I don't I don't think I could quite share it with you guys yet, but that's why I think it might be a good idea to bring him on. Maybe if you guys tell me what questions you have for him down below, I can kick some of those off. Maybe we'll even do it as a Johnny Vlogs Live. I don't know. Uh, let me have your input on that. We could do it like the Destiny Rescue thing, I guess. Maybe I can line up a time with him. Uh, that way you guys could kick your questions in live. That might actually work out pretty good. I might run that by him, but based on your comments on this video. So let me know what you think in the comment box below. 
Uh, this is the big week, guys. I am moving this week to the new house, but I don't expect it to affect any of my video releases. If anything, um, potentially Johnny vlogs next week might come out a little later than usual, just by a matter of hours. But um, I still think that I'll be able to hit all my regular releases for you. So hope you guys will stay tuned and I'll see you right back here tomorrow on the Lord Arts channel.